Hey there. Good to see you again. Have you been able to confirm those stories about a group of synths up north? I met a synth. Calls himself Dima. He's trying to create a community up north for synths. Really? That's... that's amazing. I've never heard of this Dima. But he sounds like our kind of guy. Synth. You know what I mean. Do they need our help? Can we establish some formal communications with them? They could absolutely use the Railroad's help. That's maybe the best news I've heard in a long time. Look, I'll head up north as soon as I can. If we can talk face to face with these synths, it's a good start. Thanks, Whisper. This could make a huge difference for us. Pam wants you. She explained why, but I couldn't figure it out. Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Far Harbor experience. I've informed the railroad about the synth refuge and now I'm going to pop back to my place and uh, do a few, pick up some stuff and then go to Far Harbor. Now, now for some much needed uh, changes to my current rifle. Yeah, I want a really nice short barrel, uh, up close and personal, it carries more rounds than the handgun and it's a lot more powerful. So, since leaving Far Harbour, um, a robot has turned up there and its name is Pearl. It's looking for an investigator to investigate a murder. Now, of course, when we get back, We'll have to avoid her uh, and carry on over to see Longfellow's cabin. But coming back, when we have to come back and see Brooks, we're going to have to avoid her again. Okay, so that's not a problem too much right now. But let's, so let's get over to Far Harbour and take it from there. Okay, so that's our brief to get out of here. Um, that's Pearl, and I'll avoid her because I don't want to go to the uh, whatever hotel it is. Uh, next stop, Longfellow's Cabin. Necessities of having a jetpack in Fallout 4 alone in Far Harbor is just like you know, proves itself every time I go out. I made it. Right, I have to try, time to uh, whip this cabin, uh, this area, into shape. I don't know where Nick's gone, but he'll be along in a minute. Oh, there's a red light. That's Nick. Oh, he's turned up. Right. Armour benches and sort of like. Uh, are defensive positions, uh, they don't get destroyed, I've never seen one destroyed. I've seen other things like uh, traders uh, stuff get destroyed and also the scavengers ports get destroyed but I never actually see any armour benches or anything like that getting destroyed so I'll place them in defensive positions.
That's the gun sorted, plant some food, set some water up, uh, do some defensive positions, do some fences, uh, put up a tower, yeah, that's what we're going to have, and made some house. Use, use some Vortex stuff to make accommodation. Of course, super mutants won't go through that gate, but humans who attack later will. Now the reason I'm putting a tower there is because the super mutants will gather around it. Uh, they'll get stuck in it and it'll be easier. Well, that's the command structure in place. I'll just have to like, uh, put a few more things around here that make life easier, and uh, we'll get on with the other missions. Right. Uh, this is a favourite of mine, the pitching machine, because it pitches stuff like bits of junk, but it also pitches hand grenades, which is, I use it for, uh, and artillery, any, any kind of hand grenade or anything, or ordnance like that, it will uh, fire it. Right, so that was a baby's rattle. I just did that to test the, the direction that it's facing in. It? You've got to be sure about that, because uh, <laughs> it, can, it can go very, very wrong if you toss an hand grenade into a, a settler camp, and they're all armed up with the best kind of weapons and uh, armour available. Yes, it can get sticky. Right. Oh, that's very nice. Excellent. Right on target. Okay. I'm happy with that. Okay, the next thing is to see Longfellow and give him some kit. Uh, he should be around here somewhere. Uh, oh, there he is. There. Right. <coughs> we heading out? I just need to trade some things with you. Sure thing. Well, I'll take off all the stuff that I gave him before and give him some new stuff that I got earlier from the uh, nucleus, from those guards. Uh, and I'll also probably use that stuff to... Uh, I'll have to build a radio mast, of course, draw some settlers in and give them some armour as well. Everybody be armed to the teeth and that way everything will be great. Okay, so just give him his stuff. Things three times as old as I am. That's saying something. He must be talking about the short radium rifle he had in his inventory. Right, let's get some accommodation sorted out.
Right, that's the accommodation sorted out. Just got to do some beds, got to break down some weapons, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, everything's looking good. Okay, so that's the beds, the radio's up, we're a bit short of power, but uh, the settlers will be coming in soon, so we will be ready to greet them. Howdy. You must be the mainland. Need me to get to work on anything specific? Here, I'll show you. Sure. Well, it's an incredibly bright and sunny day in Far Harbour, which is a bit of a rare thing. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. I shall see you again soon. Uh, bye for now.